Anyways, with that, and we'll have some time to talk about a lot of this uh, coming up because we're right on target on our timing, um, we've got Dr. Yoko Sukas, who's the Executive Vice President of Smart Industry and Energy Systems from VTT, Technical Research Center in Finland. So please, let's welcome Dr. Yoko Sukas. Ladies and gentlemen, future is an interesting topic to speak. Everybody has uh, own opinions about the future, and nobody can claim they are wrong or right. We also have uh, many expectations about the future, and that's also the case in future workplaces. In the beginning, I will, say, I will speak a few words about the drivers and needs to develop uh, better workplaces in future, uh, a few words about expectations we have, and uh, one example of one earlier example. Uh, then uh, a description of InnoLeap, a new concept development process. That is um, a user experience driven process to plan uh, new workplaces that is uh, developed by VTT. And then a few case examples that illustrate uh, the use of this uh, uh, InnoLeap approach complemented with some commercial uh, applications. And then concluding remarks. So uh, drivers and needs. Uh, one obvious driver is, of course, productivity. Uh, and a better quality uh, speed. Then uh, in Western countries, and especially in those who still have considerable amount of manufacturing work, uh, there is an increasing competition of competent industrial workforce. Then technology itself, that is both enabler and driver in the change. And then we have an increased complexity concerning the products, operations, and production chains. So all these affect the requirements of the uh, work processes, uh, skills and knowledge of the workers, and the solutions. Uh, European Factory of the Future Research Association has carried out a roadmap a roadmap that uh, identified three main aspects of the work uh, in factory of the future. How people work and learn, how people interact with technology, and how people add value to manufacturing. And one of the main conclusions of the roadmap is that uh, ICT will be uh, the main uh, driver in this paradigm change, affecting not only uh, the uh, content of the work, but also uh, the change of the entire work processes and a new design of them. And uh, as a result of this, factory workers become future knowledge workers. Um, about expectations for an attractive work environment. It has to be flexible concerning the space, work content. Uh, then uh, it should uh, give possibility for continuous learning, uh, training with uh, real life problems, uh, good user interface to give uh, uh, visual and uh, situational awareness of current and upcoming events um, and, and prediction to uh, understand better what is coming on uh, in the next phases of the process. This is one case study we carried out 2007-2008 um, with ACCO tractor manufacturing and the uh, question was how to improve the assembly work with augmented reality. 
We had 30 people doing the assembly work with manual instructions and 29 people doing that with uh, 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 augmented reality guidance. And we could see that uh, augmented reality brought up uh, clear benefits. 14% is faster assembly, uh, dramatic change in errors, less wrong tools, less false positioning of things. So based on these experiences, we continued uh, to develop uh, design processes and tools and solutions for future workplaces. And we ended up with a um, process we call InnoLeap. It starts with trend insight, study about the trends in industry, business, technology, society, then, when uh, having selected the work to, and work environment to be uh, developed, then uh, go to the workplace, study how the work is done today, um, and even participating in the uh, work execution. And the aim with that is to understand how the work is done today, what kind of requirements are put on different tasks, and the work process, and most importantly, create deep understanding about the ultimate goal of the work process and the individual tasks, why they are done, why they are needed, why they are done in that way. And then the aim, of course, is to find out which of them are needed in future and what, what kind of other ways could be to carry out the work tasks. So develop uh, uh, operation concepts, future scenarios, uh, use mock-ups, and then evaluate uh, these concepts uh, together with uh, uh, the uh, uh, shop floor workers, um, and then continue with the best ideas uh, to final operational concepts, the vision of the future work and uh, keeping the solutions in mind. And then one important part is uh, the visualization of these concepts. Visualization by using modern simulation tools, 3D uh, animation and, uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, mock-ups. And then, of course, also make more publicity with these uh, ideas. Uh, this spring, we concluded um, a, a, a large Finnish uh, program about uh, design of future workplaces. And uh, you can see uh, the companies and um, uh, universities involved in the pro uh, program. So there was quite a nice variety of different type of workplaces uh, we studied. And, um, there were cases about process automation, work machines, remote operation, future ship uh, bridge, which I will briefly describe in the presentation and uh, try to illustrate how the user experience driven design is being used and what kind of benefits you can gain with the approach. Um, the first case is uh, uh, process automation and the vision of the work uh, is peace of mind, knowing what's going on and how to control it. So this is the ultimate goal of uh, the um, operator, operator in the control room. When going deeper to user experience goals, sense of the control, trust in human automation cooperation, um, meaningfulness of the work, ownership of the process. Um, here, one important thing was how to predict, how to move from problem solving to prediction, what, what is coming in the uh, next th uh, three, four, five hours, and consider different op options to run the process. And this is something we can do with good automation and simulation tools. 
So change from uh, solving problems to seeing the future is like the difference between uh, a smart person and a wise person. Smart person can manage challenging situations which a wise person never enters in. So uh, there are different kind of simulators. Uh, this is one which we at VTT have developed together with uh, uh, Fortum Power and Heat for energy applications and process applications. That's uh, something which has been used in training, automation design, and also for operator support. Um, let's move to another environment, uh, to ports. Here, uh, the remote operation is, uh, and remote control is one uh, important trend to increase productivity, to increase safety. And here the vision is hands-on experience of remote operation. When going deeper in the user experience goals, there is feeling of safe operation, sense of control, feeling of presence, uh, and fluent cooperation. So when you move from a crane cabin to control room, you lose the sense of the forces, the powers you can uh, get as feedback in the cabin work. Uh, somehow you need to transfer that feedback to the operator so that he or she really understands the forces uh, being controlled. This is one other example of remote operation uh, applied in mining. The same objectives improve uh, productivity, improve safety. This uh, loader don't have any driver. The driver is on the, uh, in the control room on earth level uh, and by joystick making the loading and unloading operations and then the navigate, there is a navigation system from loading to unloading and back. Um, from remote operation to remote maintenance, this, this tool, uh, Astrovar, is a projected uh, augmented reality system. It gives the possibility for visual communication for a remote expert with on-site uh, maintenance person to give assistance which bolt to open, where to measure uh, the voltage, and so on. That's the result of one of our spin-off companies. Um, simulators have been used extensively in uh, training process operators. Today, they have came also in, um, let's say, more conventional areas, uh, training of machine operators, uh, mobile working machines, for example. This is a case of uh, training simulator for drilling machine. Um, there are some small companies who uh, deliver these kind of solutions. Uh, the reason to of increasing use of simulators is that uh, many studies have shown there is 20 to 40 percent difference between experienced and less experienced operators. And simulators are a way to speed up the development of less experienced uh, operators. This uh, picture shows uh, uh, how concrete is sprayed in tunnel tunnels having um, rough, uneven surfaces. And the challenge is to keep the distance of the nozzle spraying the uh, concrete this, at the same distance. And that's quite a challenging task. So that's why uh, the company has also applied uh, simulation technology. My final example is then future 
ship bridge uh, solutions developed with Rolls Royce. Uh, the vision here is being one with the ship and the sea. And more detailed uh, user experience goals were accurate situation awareness, awareness of uh, one's role in the system, feeling of community, feeling of comfort in using technology. Um, I have uh, a small video clip uh, showing uh, how this looks like. Rolls-Royce presents OX, a future operator experience concept for tugboat bridges to enhance ergonomics, maneuvering and safety. The OX concept features a personalized bridge environment which automatically detects the user and adjusts workstation and console interfaces according to predefined personal settings. The transformable workstation can easily conform to any desired configuration to achieve the best possible ergonomy preferred by the captain. User interface graphics and heads-up displays can be adjusted to achieve optimal working conditions and visibility. Visual augmentations enhance the captain's situation awareness and decision-making. With transparency augmentation, see-through deck objects allow the captain an unobscured view at the surroundings. With Sea Ice Analyzer system, decision support is given to the captain on whether it is safe for the vessel to proceed through uncertain ice conditions. Sharing of information with deckhands and other vessels is used to enhance operation efficiency and safety. With shared views, the captain can anticipate the deckhands' actions and communicate essential information by placing augmented reality markers in the view they are sharing. The markers are attached to reality and the captain can use them to guide the deckhand visually in addition to verbal communication. Real-time information shared between both vessels supports critical decision-making. Rate of turn, speed, course and predicted route of the other vessel are presented in the HUD together with forces affecting the tug's winch and rope. Real-time measurement data from the winch is clearly visualized for the captain with changing color and meter graphics. Combined with real-time information on the other vessel's manoeuvring, the system supports situation awareness. With Rolls-Royce Future Bridge Solutions, you can always be one step ahead. Rolls-Royce. Trusted to deliver excellence. So, um, I have now shown uh, the um, process, the InnoLib process, how to study the work performance today, uh, go deeper in the requirements and the ultimate goals of the work process and the individual tasks. How then to de develop new type of concepts carrying out the work, uh, evaluating these concepts, and then uh, creating more detailed uh, operational concepts, and finally visualization of these concepts. This last video illustrated especially this visualization and how we can use augmented reality to give support uh, to uh, the operators. And also in this case, we use hidden reality. We hide it some parts of the deck in order to give uh, the possibility for uh, bridge operators to see both sides of the ship the same time. So use of these modern tools, 3D visualization, augmented reality, simulation, as a part of the design of the work uh, environment and also as a part of the final solution is, is the way to create new type of attractive work environment. Work environment that uh, also um, is radically more productive, safe, and flexible, supporting continuous learning. This also creates opportunity for new type of business. There were some examples of uh, 
startup high-tech companies who had created new business in developing these tools to design uh, workplaces to uh, develop new type of training simulators. So these are some examples how we can create the future. Thank you.